Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lauren and it has been a crazy couple of weeks. We have been out of town on a family vacation. We had 10 days in Florida seeing family and going on our first big family trip to Disney World. And then when we got home, I had all of three days to do all the laundry, repack our suitcases, and I flew out by myself for the first time with our four-year-old and four-month-old to Texas for a family gathering. So we are now home. I feel like we have been just on the go traveling for the better part of three weeks almost now and even though Josh was here and he did some grocery shopping while the girls and I were in Texas it was very much like simple easy food because he is back in the swing of things at work so I got home and the fridge and pantry are still empty so I had a ton of grocery shopping to do I feel like I've just been grocery shopping for the last three days just getting stuff from different stores I stopped in Kroger just to get some essentials one day then this morning I just did a huge Walmart pick up haul and of course how it always seems to go right now they don't tell you until you're almost ready to pick up your order that they're out of some of your things so I did my Walmart pickup order but now there's like five missing things that I needed for my meal plan this week so I'm gonna have to go back out to the grocery store again this afternoon I just dropped my daughter Lila off at preschool this morning and did the Walmart pickup so I pulled stuff from Kroger and Walmart that I got over the last two days out so I can share with you guys how I'm restocking our fridge and pantry and kind of resetting after being gone for three weeks getting back on my WW plan I'm gonna list all the WW points for you guys down here in the bottom bar and I'll talk through some of my meal ideas I have to finish off this week. Getting started with some of our cold and frozen items so I can get them back in the freezer. Um, I picked up some of these Tyson air fried chicken nuggets to put in the air fryer and some tater tots. So these obviously are a go-to staple in our house with a four-year-old um, and also Josh and I like having a good quality chicken nugget on hand that we can toss in the air fryer. These ones taste really good, really fresh and Josh and I love using these on salads and sometimes we'll slice these up put them into a wrap for either a lunch or dinner idea so yes they're for the kids but Josh and I find ways to use these too and then the tater tots I'll serve these on the side with Lila's chicken nuggets for her as a side along with a veggie um, but I also love using these as like a potato base to breakfast if I want to do a heartier breakfast with like eggs and peppers I'll just toss some tater tots in the air fryer instead of doing like hash browns or breakfast potatoes so I'll use those that way as well I restocked on our frozen blueberries normally I get the wild blueberries because they're a little bit smaller these ones tend to be a little bit big um, and I use these in yogurt for my daughter's breakfasts mostly or sometimes we'll use them in smoothies and then the size doesn't really matter um, but they were out of the wild blueberries so we have some regular ones that's okay for some meat I do have some chicken breast still in my freezer one of the items I need to go pick up today though yet is a rotisserie chicken for one of my dinner plans we're gonna do rotisserie chicken with some sheet pan fall veg pork sausage this is going to be for some breakfast burritos that I'm going to meal prep and tuck in the freezer for easy grab and go breakfasts and then I also grabbed a 1.25 pound package of ground turkey I have been having the hardest time finding 99% lean ground turkey let me know have you guys been able to find it and where both at Aldi at Walmart at Kroger the other day the leanest I'm seeing is 93% versus the 90 9% lean. I'm actually going to be using this and making a fall shepherd's pie. So I'm definitely going to film that one and share it on the channel. So make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss out on that recipe. That's one of our absolute favorites in the fall time. So my family's looking forward to that one. I'm going to make it this weekend and I will film it for you. I grabbed some more plain non-fat Greek yogurt. I actually have no problem with like the store brand for things like this. Um, Walmart actually subbed out the Chobani though. And hey, if they're gonna sub out the Chobani for the same price as the Walmart, fine, I'll take it. I'm not gonna complain. Um, it's virtually the same thing. The points are the same. It doesn't really matter what brand you use, just that if it's plain non-fat and Greek yogurt, it's gonna be zero points. There's so many ways to use it on the WW plan. I told you guys how we'll eat it with some frozen or fresh fruit for breakfast. We also use it as a sour cream replacement. I also love using it in cooking or in dressings. So that's definitely a staple I always have to have on hand. Speaking of staples, I love to have at least one or two bars of this third less fat Neufchatel cheese. It's like third less fat cream cheese. Um, it's really affordable, the Neufchatel great value brand. So I grabbed a couple of these just to have on hand. I am gonna use some of it in that shepherd's pie recipe, but I also just like having them on hand, especially as we reach the fall and winter time. I'm doing more casseroles or crock pot dishes, warm comforting dishes that a lot of times it's just nice to throw some like cream cheese in to make it nice and creamy and hearty. I have some frozen sweet peas. That's again gonna be for our shepherd's pie. 
Lila picked out some popsicles. We like having popsicles or some sort of ice cream bar on hand. They're a great sweet treat for the end of the night without having to do a ton of baking or using up a ton of my points. These outshine bars are so tasty. I love the lime ones, those are my favorite. I love that they're made with real fruit or fruit juice. The calories and nutrition facts are really good on these. 45 calories for one popsicle, three for 130. I don't know that I would sit down and eat three whole popsicles, but. Um, these are really good. Here's a quick peek if I can focus at the nutrition facts on there for you guys. But anyway, these are some of our favorite popsicles to pick up. I grabbed some feta cheese. This I'm going to crumble down and actually use with our sheet pan veggies. Um, some of the sheet pan veg I'm just gonna use as a side of veggies. The rest of them though, I'm gonna use as meal prep, toss it with some couscous and some feta cheese. And then I have like a vegetarian bowl I can eat for lunches the rest of the week two uses from one dish. So I'm all about simplifying right now because uh, I didn't mention Nora, my four month old, is asleep taking a nap upstairs, but that time is very valuable. So when I have a little bit of free time when she's napping, I don't want to be spending it all in the kitchen. Also picked up some classic hummus. We love using this to dip our veggies in or sometimes I'll use that. If I'm doing a bowl with like Greek kind of flavors in it. Instead of like a dressing, I'll put a dollop of hummus in. It adds a great protein source and a little bit of moisture to a grain and veggie kind of bowl dish. My daughter Lila loves bringing this with carrots in her lunchbox to school also, and it's a great source of protein for her. I have some celery. Some of this is gonna be used in our shepherd's pie. The rest I'll just cut down to eat as um, like veggie sticks with the hummus for the week. I have some baby spinach. This will be used for salads throughout the week as well as I'll use handfuls to throw in smoothies. I grabbed a big package of red grapes yesterday at Kroger. You can already see we've dug into them a little bit. I cut some up to send with Lila to school today. We have some bananas and then I also grabbed plantains and I have actually never cooked plantains before and we had some when we were at Disney. It was a part of one of the meals we got were fried plantains and they were so, so good. So I'm gonna do a little research, look up a recipe and find a way to like use those because they were so tasty and I just wanted to try making them myself. And finally wrapping up on fruit, um, I grabbed two cantaloupes. They were on sale. So um, I love cantaloupe. It's very hydrating and just so fresh and nice. And we're ending summer and heading into fall. So I'm getting my hands on some summer fruit while I can. I restocked on some of my yogurt salad dressings. I got a classic ranch and a creamy Caesar from Boathouse Farms. We'll use those for salads. The ranch one we might use for dipping with some veggies throughout the week. I have a huge container of Quaker oats. I've been really loving making overnight oats as a meal prep for the mornings. It's so nice to have some sort of a breakfast ready to grab out of the fridge. And oats have been really good for my supply while I'm nursing my infant. Grab some regular romaine lettuce. I'm so glad I found some at Walmart when I did the order. I almost picked some up at Kroger the other night. But you guys, inflation. One package of romaine lettuce at Kroger last night when I went was over $5. So Walmart wasn't that much better. This was like $3 and change, still way more than it was, you know, last fall. But um, we do really love having salad. Josh and I will pick dead just to do salad night once or twice a week. It's easy, it's fresh, it's crunchy. It satisfies us and saves me from having to cook a big hot meal a couple times a week. I also restocked on some pasta. I grabbed some rotini and some small shells. I'm gonna be making butternut squash mac and cheese with this over the weekend. I've shared that a few times on the channel. I'll put a link to the video with that recipe in the iCard above. One of our favorite fall twists on mac and cheese. It's so, so good. Lila calls it mommy mac and cheese and it is her number one request always. So I'll take it. It hides a veggie in there for her. It's delicious. Um, and just some rotini to have on hand in case we need a quick pasta night. Some chicken broth for the shepherd's pie recipe. I was fully out of ketchup and Chick-fil-A sauce. Those are staples in our house. Lila loves Chick-fil-A sauce. So I try not to eat it very much because again, it's packed with sugar and packs a lot of points. But you know, I got a shot for my family too, guys, not just me. So I grabbed some of that, restocked on salsa. Lila has actually started really loving salsa. She loves salsa and tortilla chips as a snack. And I'm like, eh, that's a veggie kind of getting that in for her. Some more Lila snackies. I got some goldfish, some of these fig bars. We grabbed some of these for our hotel room when we were traveling and they were really good. Another really great, just easy grab and go option. 
yes, a little higher in points for me, but Lila liked them as well. And then just some pita crackers. We'll have these with our hummus or just on the side with lunches or as a snack in the evening, maybe with some cheese or fruit plates. I have like one bigger recipe, the shepherd's pie that I'm gonna be doing this weekend and the butternut squash mac and cheese. And then from there, I fill it in with a few of our go-to staple easy weeknight meals like taco night or salads or chicken nuggets for Lila. So that way it's not feeling like such a daunting task for me with an infant at home right now. Like I'm cooking full on meals every single night and we'll have leftovers some night. We have easy pasta to go in the pantry just because I'm on a health journey and trying to eat healthier again and back on WW postpartum doesn't mean I can't eat normal foods. And a lot of times what I'll do is meals I'm making for the family. That's where I know if I'm going to calculate a lot of points for my day, I give my points to that. If I don't have to make multiple meals for me and the family and the kids and everything, I simplify. I bite the bullet and I just take the points for dinner that night. And then what I'll do is try to be conscious during the beginning part of my day, like for breakfast and lunch or snacks and try to eat a little bit lower point on the earlier part of the day so I don't totally go over points by the end of dinner. There is no off-limit foods on WW. It's one of the reasons I love the program and have followed it for the last three years. I lost 80 pounds on it before I got pregnant with my second daughter and now I'm back on it postpartum and I have felt like it's been a really easy way of getting back on my healthy track. I don't feel so much pressure, like I'm constantly counting calories and limiting myself on certain foods. I am counting points, but I'm so familiar with the program. It's been an easy transition to go back to it. Hey guys, okay, it's a little while later. After I went and picked up Lila from preschool, we decided to stop over at Costco because I did have those few things I was missing from my list this week and honestly a lot of them were things I get at Costco anyway I need to fill up my car with gas so it just made sense I do want to show you real quick the last few things I picked up at Costco for my grocery haul for this week so starting off with a Kirkland rotisserie chicken at only $4.99 one of the only things that inflation hasn't affected at Costco worth it every single time honestly depending on the time of the week like since we're already midweek I just got one we'll do this with dinner with some sheet pan roasted veggies I told you guys about earlier um, but a lot of times I'll just grab two of these at the beginning of a week shred them up and I have them ready to go for an easy meal prep along with veggies or salad so these are always a staple I pick one up every time we go to Costco we have some boom chicka pop literally this bag though guys oh my goodness look I can hardly put my camera far enough away to get the whole thing in the picture, this is a very big bag of Boom Chicka Pop, but I was sucked in, it was on sale, and it was one of the samples they were handing out. And Lila and I both like the Boom Chicka Pop. We've had them plenty of times before. It's a great low calorie, easy snack, a little bit of sweet, a little bit of salty. So anyway, picked up some of that. I could put it in her lunchbox too. So it's always nice to have something that Lila likes as well as works for me to snack on in my plan. Tons of veggies, both fresh and frozen. So I got this big bag of fresh broccoli florets. I'm actually gonna pop some of this in the air fryer um, for a side with dinner tonight. They were all out of the plain frozen bags of broccoli. Um, normally I like buying frozen broccoli at Costco because the large bag comes with four smaller steamer bags inside. I couldn't find any packages that had only broccoli in the freezer section. They had tons of stir fries and things like that. So I just bought fresh. It was at a good price point, so I'll have some for dinner tonight and then I'll break some up into my own bags and put it in the freezer. I have a nice big bag of Brussels sprouts. We love Brussels sprouts, especially to put in the air fryer and roast them. These are going in that sheet pan veggie setup as well that I mentioned. So some good old Brussels sprouts. I hadn't originally planned on buying strawberries because I have all those grapes. I have cantaloupe. I have some apples and oranges left. So, um, oh well. We have strawberries, Lila really wanted them. We never waste strawberries in our house. I feel like as long as I prep them with a vinegar rinse, they last until we're done eating them. The very few times we've had a few left and they've started kind of getting a little too overripe. I will go ahead and chop them up and add them to a freezer bag of frozen strawberries and use them for smoothies. 90 pouches of Welch's fruit snacks. This is another snack item we picked up. Um, these are gonna last us literally months. I think we've only ever bought these one other time from Costco and they lasted like four or five months. So anyway, something else to put into Lila's snack rotation for school. Walmart was out of our artisano bread and I'm actually so glad they were because we've picked this up at Costco before. This is the Sara Lee artisano bread. I've also gotten the Aldi lay oven dupe of the artisano bread and it's really good too. But honestly, the Costco double pack is the best price between Costco, Walmart, and Aldi, at least in my area. It was only like $4.30 for this double pack, and I wanna say a single loaf at Aldi is now close to $2.50. So 
great deal. I'll have one out for sandwiches and for toast, things like that, and one will go in the freezer for next week. Then this is my absolute favorite frozen vegetable mix I've ever had, the fire roasted vegetable melange. I used to talk about this all the time. For a while I couldn't find it at Costco, but I'm so glad it's back. This will be great to have on hand if I don't have time to do a sheet pan veggie prep for the week. I just grab a cup of this, toss it in the air fryer on a sheet pan with a lean protein and it's a great lunch meal or even a dinner. We like to mix this with rice and shredded chicken and teriyaki sauce and make chicken teriyaki bowls. Sorry, Lenora is like giggling like crazy in the background and rolling around and playing. Um, anyway, so yes, one of my favorites. I love this stuff. It is a little bit pricier, but honestly, this lasts us a long time. It's a pretty sizable bag of frozen veg mix, and it mixes it up a bit for us from just plain broccoli. In here, there is Brussels sprouts, mushrooms, red and yellow bell peppers, red onion. It is tossed in a light virgin olive oil, um, like kind of sauce, so it's not fully a zero point frozen veg on WW. I believe a serving comes in at like one point though, but it's very flavorful, very good, worth the point. And honestly, you get that point back on WW for the serving of veggies because you earn points for vegetable servings. So kind of equals itself out there. And finally, I was so excited to find these Brazzy Bites. I have tried something similar. It's Brazilian cheese bread. I found something like this at Trader Joe's a couple months ago and we absolutely devoured the package. They were so good. They're these like little rolls, but they have a tapioca in them. So they're like spongy and chewy and cheesy, but crisp on the outside. I'm actually gonna pop a couple of these in the air fryer right now and have a little taste test with Lila. I was telling her about them. So I'm super excited for these. I hope they live up to all my hopes and dreams. Let's pop some in the air fryer right now and give them a taste test. Other than that, that's everything I picked up at Costco. Oop and a bottle of Josh Cabernet Sauv. That's gonna be for Friday night, we're having some friends over, and for Josh and I, we'll have a glass on date night. Sorry guys, I'm always under the gun to get something filmed in between the kids needing me, so. <laughs> Nora's still loud, but she's happy and loud. Lila's playing with her right now. So anyway, here's everything that's in these Brazilian cheese bites. And I'm gonna be using the air fryer instructions. So they're going in at 325 for about 14 minutes. So we're gonna do a little taste test. You wanna do a taste test, Lila? Lila decided to decorate her hair with every hair clip she owned. You look beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna make up a few of these. These are a little bit smaller than the ones I had gotten at Trader Joe's. Um, they're a little bit more bite-sized, so I'm just gonna, we'll see, I'm just gonna make up a few. I don't have any oil or anything on these uh, that wasn't in the instructions, so just as is, and in we go. I also saw, we got our Gourmia air fryer at Costco last year, and they have it again in stock, and it was on sale. So if you guys are seeing this recent one, it's been posted, and you're looking for an air fryer, it was like $39.99, and this air fryer has been so good to us. We really, really like it. Lots of different functionalities. Oh, look at how good these look. Nice and puffed up, ooh, but very hot. We're gonna let them cool down, and then Lila and I are gonna give them a try. My little buddy's waiting with me. I think our Brazil puffs are cooled. Here's what they look like. Nice and crispy on the outside. Mmm. Oh baby, these are good. Miley, you wanna try one? What do you think, good? What do they taste like? They taste like cheesy. Cheesy? Crunchy. Crunchy. Yum, yum, yummy. yummy. My little food critic. Um, yeah, those are so good. They taste just like the Trader Joe's ones that I remember. They're a little smaller, so the crunch is really nice on them, um, but they're still like nice and chewy and doughy on the inside. They kind of remind me of like a savory cheese popover, if you've had a popover before. I know there's not as much egg, it's like the tapioca that makes them chewy. Um, but yeah, those are really, really good. So anyway, thank you guys for watching my little grocery haul restock. Um, getting reset after vacation and travel and trips with these guys the last few weeks. We're getting back to our regular routines. I have a ton of fall videos coming up for you guys. Some great fall recipes, um, things I'm going to be meal prepping, sharing some more what I eat in the days as I get back on track with WW again. So don't forget to hit that red subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on the next video. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed today's video. And until next time, bye! bye. Bye!